Hello again everyone, Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube Astrological segment, I'm going to be giving you my Taurus February 2020 horoscope forecast part 2 of 2. And yes, this does apply and pertain to the Sun, Moon, and Ascended. Anyway, people. First thing up is, as far as February goes, Mars will be in Sagittarius from the 1st until the 16th. So the 8th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted at this time. Well, a situation with uh, people you may be in an intimate or sexual relationship with, shared resources scenario with, may be uh, a little bit more uh, contentious and acrimonious more so than usual. There may be philosophical differences and issues, arguments connected with the law. There might be arguments where people basically aren't mincing words, speaking their veritable truth. That Sagittarius energy can be uh, really a uh, very tactless and it's not about diplomacy, uh, very blunt energy. There could be arguments even just over sports issues uh, with, with these Pete with eighth house people at this time. But at the same time, if you're unattached at this time, Taurus, you may connect with a Sagittarius sun, moon, or ascendant person, or simply one that embodies Sagittarius characteristics. And it may be for a deep uh, connection, a very strong, deep sexual connection. We're talking about Mars and the eighth house. And uh, one that's non-superficial, but it could be with a foreigner. Uh, and it might be uh, also, to another way this could manifest and pan out. Some isolated cases, this could be about some kind of a surgery, maybe Sagittarius-related, uh, such as something uh, with the hips or, or the thighs or anything, um, or something with the sciatic nerve, anything that could be Sagittarius-related, uh, something with the liver. But this could be very isolated, though. Now, anyway... Well, uh, the next thing up is uh, Mars will be in Capricorn as far as February goes from the 16th until the 29th. So the ninth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. So at this time, well, this can manifest in a number of ways. Uh, the situations with uh, in-laws, uh, grandchildren, foreigners, people at a religious congregation, college, university may be more contentious and acrimonious than usual. Uh, there may be arguments connected with responsibilities. Uh, arguments that are really about it could be really career related matters or or issues that are um, really uh, it could be uh, arguments connected with politics or the government or something business related uh, and Capricorn energy of course is very serious as well and the arguments may be very over very serious issues at this time now on another note though if you are an attached Taurus you may connect with a Capricorn Sun Moon or Ascendant person or simply one that embodies Capricorn traits uh, that might figure it might be somebody uh, that you meet at some uh, college university or it could be uh, somebody that might be a foreigner it may be a person uh, in some uh, life uh, in some ninth house venue such as publishing or somebody that works with the law uh, or somebody that's in like the exporting uh, business or somebody you may simply meet through traveling abroad uh, and my figure prominently in you expanding horizons could also be about a lot of energy and vitality into really um, doing in really energy that's very regimented very disciplined very methodical in terms of uh perhaps expanding your horizons at this time in ninth house matters in general it could be some energy being put into uh, consistent publishing or showing consistency in higher education and anyway well, the next thing up, Jupiter will still be in Capricorn, so the ninth house is what will be emphasized and highlight. Now, as I've spoken about in previous videos, Jupiter could be rather paradoxical, could be very strongly benign and benevolent, but it could also have a tendency to enlarge and expand. Now, in some cases, this can enlarge and expand, perhaps limitations, restrictions, responsibility, despondent, depressive energy in ninth house matters. It could be overexpanding one's horizons, uh, maybe matters with in-laws, with grandchildren at this time. Uh, it could be over religious issues. Uh, but at the same time, or this could be a, this could be something too, or even matters with higher education. But at the same time as well, this could be very lucky and fortuitous for very conventional beliefs. Uh, 
uh, conservative religious type beliefs at this time, or even just methodically and consistently expanding uh, one's horizons uh, at this time. And it could also be in some cases, uh, this could be a time too, which could be very fortuitous for publishing because you're talking about Jupiter and the ninth house energy uh, at this time. So it could be a very good, very positive period uh, for this uh, at this time. And it could be a time too, uh, looking at this, this could be very, uh, I mean, Jupiter again is about a lot of hope and optimism, and it could be through uh, perhaps doing things uh, by by consistently trying to go outside the box, or maybe even business related matters that are, I mean, hope and optimism related to business related matters that are connected uh, with uh, with tra with a higher, um, I should say, I'm sorry, uh, traveling abroad, or even very fortuitous in this case, it could be very fortuitous for Ju for Capricorn. Uh, related uh, publishing matters. It could be things like with accounting or something connected with business or politics, uh, something uh, associated with uh, with masonry or something that is connected with information technology, anything Capricorn related or even taking a higher education class that is Capricorn related, such as something with information technology, accounting, masonry, something with the government, business, politics, dentistry, anything Capricorn related. Next thing up, Saturn will still be in Capricorn, so the ninth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. Now, this could be a time too where you might be uh, uh, having to take care of a sickly or debilitated in-law or grandchild. It could be something Capricorn related, such as something with the knees, the bones, the joints, the hamstrings, and maybe making you feel somewhat despondent and melancholy at this time could also be about just having more responsibilities at this time in matter in ninth house related matters or even some delays and restrictions connected with publishing higher education religious related uh, matters it could be if you're involved in some importing exporting field it could be in dealings with in-laws and grandchildren at this time there may be more responsibilities that are associated with them but it could also be about a lot of laborious and consistent efforts that are ninth house uh, related at this time, such as doing things with in-laws, with grandchildren. Some cases it could be expanding uh, horizons. Um, it could be going outside of the box, so to speak. Um, uh, higher education, traveling, a long distance traveling, I should say. So anything that could be ninth house related. Well, next thing up. Well, Uranus uh, will still be in Taurus, so the first house is what will be emphasized in Highland. Now, this can manifest in a multitude of ways, Taurus. This could be, well, for one thing, uh, this could be, you now in some cases, you may be dealing you know, with people, uh, you might be experiencing some unusual, stubborn, obstinate behavior from a, uh, some cases it could be a grandmother, it could be from somebody you knew uh, from your early uh, childhood. Uh, you might be seeing some shocking behavior with these people. And speaking of shocking, there could be a greater propensity for electric shock at this time. You're talking about Uranus and the first house, the physical body. So just be careful at this time, Taurus, if you're doing some kind of uh, electrical work or wiring and make sure you're you know you're taking your precautions if you need to wear certain gloves do so make sure you're grounded properly if that needs to be done in these ends in, in certain instances if you're dealing with electrical matter live wires so anyway um, lightning is isolated but that there could still be a little greater propensity for that uh, in contact with that at this time but also at this time uh, it could be on a positive note this could be a time for Uranus uh, new beginnings such as something um, with astrology or aerospace astronomy even rocket science something uh, computers, electronics, innovation at this time. You might even change your appearance at this time or want or go for a more eclectic or unorthodox uh, look uh, at this time, uh, Taurus. And 
it could be at this time where I mean you know Uranus I see is connected with television it could be a time too uh, where you might be more drawn into the the media somehow or I should say television at this time um, especially if you're somebody that's like you're on that brink or threshold of doing so if you're doing something like you're doing YouTube videos at this time and you're on that cutting edge of getting some kind of uh, maybe exposure through television there could be a greater uh, possibility for that at this time uh, more so than usual hold on a moment people sorry about that I'm back but anyway well, next thing up, well, Neptune will still mean Pisces, so the 11th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. So at this time, well, Taurus, you may find at this time that uh, friends, acquaintances, people you may know in uh, groups, clubs, organizations, even stepchildren and some, uh, if applicable, maybe a little bit more deceptive and duplicitous than usual. Uh, the, it might be more difficult to decipher their uh, motives, their intentions at this time. Uh, it could also be a time to, on a positive note, though, it could be a period for uh, Neptune uh, slash Pisces, like uh, goals and aspirations, such as something with poetry, dancing, the metaphysical, which includes astrology, spirituality, photography, chemistry, something with pharmaceutical, uh, where it could be doing some work as a medium. But at the same time, uh, guard against uh, phony or fallacious mediums or psychics trying to direct you toward making decisions toward your future uh, at this time, as there could be certain more gullibility as far as this goes at this time, especially if transit Neptune is making adverse aspects, an adverse aspect to your natal Mercury, or even your uh, third house cusp can maybe uh, increase that propensity for that as you're thinking, you know, you might be a little bit more easily beguiled and deceived at this time, more so uh, than usual. But it could also be a time too where you might show a lot of self-sacrificing energy with your friends, with acquaintances, people in groups, clubs, organizations at this time uh, being that team player. Well, last but not least, Pluto will still be in Capricorn, so the ninth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. So at this time, now I know a lot of you don't want me to say the dreaded D word, but you know I'm going to anyway. In some cases, this could manifest an actual or literal death of an in-law, a grandchild, and might be somebody you might, it might be a foreigner you know well, or someone you know at some well to college, university, or maybe even um, it could be at a religious congregation. Now at this time as well, Taurus, this could also be a time where there could be some interest in Plutonian type higher education courses. It could be something like with nuclear physics or uh, something associated with astrology, the occult supernatural insurance transformation. It could be learning about rebuilding engines at this time. And it could also be a time to, it could be a transforming period as far as your philosophy goes or some religion at this time. So those are some ways that this could manifest and pan out, but also guard against power issues and control issues connected with in-laws and grandchildren uh, at this time, uh, Taurus. So, and also there could be a little greater propensity for death, I believe, through traveling abroad. So just be very careful at this time, uh, Taurus, more so than usual. If you're somebody that's a frequent flyer and is traveling abroad at this time, and you know, just uh, it's it's a very important time to, for just being more careful. And you know, there's a greater propensity through death in a foreign country, I would say, uh, at this time more so than usual. So just be a little, you may be a little bit more guarded and be very uh, cautious in these matters at this time, uh, Taurus. So anyway, anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for my Taurus. February 2020 horoscope part two of two. Stay tuned next time where I'll be giving you my Gemini February 2020 horoscope forecast part one of two. Until next time, people, Edwin Leonard saying stay well.